everyone. Welcome to episode 7 of the SF Christmas. My name is Jay Wakefield and today I thought we would try something a wee bit fun. Well, not that we've not been doing anything fun otherwise, but um, I thought I would kind of take you back to my, my childhood here. Now, as most of you may have guessed, I actually grew up in the 90s. And in the 90s, certainly the, uh, well, yeah, early to mid 90s, something that was very popular were micro machines. Micro machines were kind of like, um, I guess they were kind of like toy cars and vehicles and things like that. Um, but uh, they, um, that you could actually, you know, play with, just <laughs> kind of like tiny wee toy cars. However, they did make quite a few games out of it. Um, I remember something that was very popular uh, back in, um, you know, the days of the PlayStation 1 was uh, Micro Machines V3. And that uh, was quite a well-known multiplayer game. It was, um, you know, something that uh, supported four players using um, the optional multi-tap that was available for Sony at the time. Now, they did make versions of Micro Machines for MS-DOS as well. As the, um, I'm guessing, other consoles of the day, like uh, the Super Nintendo and the Sega Mega Drive, or the Genesis in America. And these were all very fun. Think about RC Pro-Am for the NES, but, you know, in more kind of fun settings, and then you'll pretty much have it. Anyway, I have Micro Machines version 1 actually uh, installed, configured and loaded onto the uh, Compaq Armada 1590DT, so why don't we play it a wee bit? Codemasters. Do you remember when back when they were the thing? I mean, they still are, but still. Right, so this actually does support um, sound cards. Um, when I was first playing it, it was coming through the PC speaker and was incredibly annoying. So I can either do head-to-head, -head, like two-player, so I don't know if that's, you know, a connect through a mull, a mull? A, a, a Muller modem, yeah. <laughs> a mull of Kintyre cable, a null modem cable. Um, or if I uh, do it split screen, but um, you can also do challenges. So that's what I'm going to do. Just going to do a challenge just for now. Um, so once again, we'll do a challenge. And I'll be that guy. So the first one is actually um, a boat race. But um, like a lot of kind of these, uh, you know, small RC racer types, you know, it kind of takes place in, you know, various places. So I'm guessing this is supposed to be in the bathtub. Very easy round this. So I qualified. Well... It was literally just a lap. It was basically like NASCAR for RC cars. So let's select a few players to play with. Yeah, I know him. <clears throat> there we go. And the only reason I'm going to win this time is because all of these guys are totally mediocre. Actually, I'm probably still going to lose. This one takes place on the breakfast table. Although I've got to admit, if my breakfast table looked anything like that, I think I would probably cringe. Although it probably did when, um, you know, I was growing up. Well, kids are messy. But nowadays I've kind of grown up a bit and it's like, uh... Ah! Yeah, that's the only problem with a breakfast table, is that you can fall off the edge. And because you're an RC car, well, because you're a micro machine, you know what to us would just be like a foot. To a, to a, a micro machine, it's kind of like you know, kind of falling off of a building or something. You know, quite quite a tall building, like a high rise or something. Yeah, 
Yeah, like I said, I mean, the only reason I look good is because all these drivers are pretty damn poor. Although, to be honest, I'm, I'm not doing much better. Like, I just fell off the edge of the table again. I, I seem to forget. I seem to forget about braking and cornering. But I still came first. So, desktop drop off. Ah! Oi! Oh, jings. What is this? Woo! So here you actually do have jumps that you have to be able to do, and obviously, um, yeah, I, I, yeah, fell off. Yeah, basically I fell off. Come on. Oh. Oh, see, so it's like that, is it? Oh, so it's like that, is it, baby doll? Eh? Sounds like Ramp Cena's, but... Come on. So, yeah, I mean, I never had... It's a trap, I tell you. It's a trap. But I never had the full version of Micro Machines V3 for the PlayStation. But the demo was pretty fun. I mean, my mum used to pick up uh, PlayStation Magazine every month. And, you know, we'd get these demos in it. I remember we got our second controller back in November 97. And um, now this was one of the games that uh, my oldest sister and I played on it, actually. I was like, oh, I want to give that uh, Micro Machines, Micro Machines uh, version 3 a re go. And so I did. And, you know, I quite liked the game. Ah. ah! So as as you can see, even though the drivers are a bunch of shediots, I I'm the biggest shediot on the screen. <coughs> oh, James! Come on! But this is quite a good level, actually, because it's like, you know, you've got to do... <sighs> actually, no, I want to say that the difficulty curve of this game is completely unforgiving. And with um, Sound Blaster Sound, though, it is, it's still a good game, you know. It's, um, it's, got, it's got kind of that 16-bit era kind of charm. Ah, oh, yeah, this this is why you've got to take this bit at speed. Come on. No! Yeah. So I've got to do this level again. So I'll give it another go, and if I don't succeed, um, then we'll call it. So I'm going to try taking it a lot more slowly this time. Obviously not slowly enough that... Um, I lose my way off the desk. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, Jangs, J, 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 what are you doing? Oh, yeah, it would wait until all of the others have went past to actually... In you go, you dafty. Come on. In. Oh, yeah. Oh, do you know what? Yeah, I think. 
Yeah, I think that will kind of do it. But that is Micro Machines, and you know, if you're in, if you're any good at gaming, which I'm not, then um, you'll actually really enjoy this game. Um, you know, I do think it's good. I do quite like it, even though I can't play it. Um, so with that said, I know this has been quite a short video, but um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel. Please feel free also to like Videos on Frontier on Facebook and to follow me on Twitter. But for the meantime, I'd like to thank you all for watching and please join me for my next video. Cheerio, bye.